doing? Today is Saturday at Dragon Con, and we'll be showing you a couple of other things today. We've got some vendors and some like, interesting costume clubs. So let's see what we Okay, we are here at the Marriott, and I have uh, run into a Batman, and he is uh, dressed in medieval-style garb. And uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Hi, uh, my name is Carter, and uh, this is my first year here at Dragon Con. Uh, I've always loved Batman, and uh, I've always been uh, really into medieval stuff. So I've done uh, medieval reenactment before, and I want to combine the two. So what drew you to the medieval Batman rather than the, the modern Batman? I, I like having a different costume. Uh, I, I have a modern Batman costume, but I want something that uh, no one else would have. So I just kind of combine things together and this up. And what other medieval things do you do besides, uh, besides dress up like Batman? Uh, I used to be in uh, SCA, mm -hmm. so I do creative anachronism. I just love researching and stuff. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Okay, I am now here in the uh, vendor area with Mr. Jim Elmore with the Miniature Building Authority where they design and sell miniature buildings. Hi there. Hi there. So how'd you get into this line of work? Uh, well, my buddy had this idea that uh, the people needed, the people playing miniature war games with uh, miniature figures needed towns and villages and farms to fight over, mm -hmm. and it turned out to be correct. And this is the main thing people buy these for? Yeah, primarily for miniature war gaming. Uh, they could also be used for uh, role playing with miniatures, mm -hmm. like Dungeons and Dragons and that, that, that uh, type of game, mm -hmm. but uh, mostly tabletop miniature war gaming. Are there any, uh, any ones here that are particular medieval inspired designs that, uh, that you want to well, certainly our town wall system the uh, castle wall system here would so be that would very, be uh, that would be this system here specifically medieval okay uh, probably I see this is uh, I don't know if we can make it on the camera but that's a, a, a big crossbow there and right big uh, uh, scorpion type uh, mobile uh, large crossbow mm -hmm. But this would be uh, castle walls from, say, the uh, period of the Hundred Years' War, mm -hmm. something on that. But depending on how you set it up, it could be uh, Crusader castles in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. You could do uh, the uh, cracked uh, whatever it is in Syria, mm -hmm. uh, Crusader castles that survives there. And so your main concern is is for these to be valuable for the uh, miniature uh, yeah. gamers. Yeah, so it, you're walk, not it walks a tightrope between being an architectural scale model mm -hmm. and being a toy. Do you do you use do you use historical models for these at all, and then yeah, modify really. them? Well, no, there are no existing models in this size. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, like, uh, do you look at the historical records? Oh, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Particularly once I discovered I could write off uh, reference books on my taxes. <laughs> the scholars who watch this will understand that. Yes. Well, thank you very much. You do right. appreciate your time. Uh, it's becoming a tradition that we always have mead, which is uh, honey wine, here at Dragon Con to celebrate the medievalness of the season and also to, well, to drink a bunch of wine.